All right, we're doing this again. And I still don't have a visa agent. I am trying to get a bank account in Thailand. I want to get a bank with K-Bank. I have my visa. I have my lease. I have company documents. I have my passport. I have IDs. I have everything. I have money to put in the account. I have everything. Now let's see if I can actually get this done today. All right, so now I am in Rama 4. I'm at Big C. Now this is the one that somebody told me to come to. So I'm gonna come to a different branch and maybe I might go to a different couple branches, but I'm trying, trying to get K-Bank. That is the bank that I was recommended. So that's the bank I'm going to go for. But I know SCB is gonna be my second option and maybe Bangkok Bank. I feel like Bangkok Bank is the one that I will for sure be able to, but I don't want to, uh, I just want K-Bank, okay? I'm just, I just want it. I don't really even have a reason or anything. I just want K-Bank. I feel like K-Bank's the cool one. That's the one I want to get. Okay, I don't know because she scanned, she copied all my documents. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <sighs> Look at these guys behind me. Look how much just rest they're getting. They're 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 living good right now. Anyways, uh, yeah, it just it was a fail. I guess I need a work permit. I guess I need a work permit, but I I don't I'm not working. So I guess I'm going to actually have to start my own business here. I feel like that is gonna have to be the go-to. That is what I'm getting pushed towards. And it's okay, it's okay. It's really frustrating that I can't just seem to open one, but this is the point. Like, it, things aren't always going to be perfect. They're not always going to just be easy and you just figure it out right away on the first go and boom, everything's good. Like, no, I'm in a different country. This is a totally different. I'm on literally the other side of the world than where I'm used to. So things are different and that's okay. So I just have to figure out how to get this and I got to maneuver and I got to make things happen hey but that's the point I'm, that is like life in general it's always maneuvering it's always figuring out the next move it's always figuring out how you're going to make what it is you want to happen happen every time okay now side note besides what I'm talking about something totally different right here I'm in the mall okay when they have these little random like pop-ups with all these clothes in the mall, this, this, from what I've learned and seen, this is where you get the real, real, real steals, real steals. But they never let you try it on and there's no returns, no nothing. So you buy something over here, just know, it's gonna be the only one, look at this, look at this. All that Nike stuff right there, look at that. All that Nike, shorts, tank tops, he, what are these polos come on polos jack whoever that is a coat see all this stuff 59 bot for these shirts right here like yeah okay but 59 bot that's that's like not two dollars for a shirt so 100 bot for a shirt 70 bot for a shirt 250 for some sweats crazy deals That's the soy dog around here. He just lives in this area. But he does his own thing. Nobody bothers him and he doesn't bother anybody. Like, how crazy is that? Anyways. Oh man, I had to get food. I just had a meeting right now. I'm gonna do a video. So, I know I'm gonna do a video. That's crazy to say, right? But I'm going to do a video with somebody I met uh, for his channel. And I'm kind of excited. It's going to be something totally different that I've never, ever, ever in my life done. And I'm going to be breaking down like how I moved to Thailand and all the stuff that you already know. But it's just cool because I just feel honored that anybody would even ask me to be in their video. Or I feel crazy honored that like my videos will get a thousand views. I, I, I vividly... I was telling him, I vividly 
remember being on soy 21 or soy 19 sib cow and I would make videos every day and it would get like 15 views 17 views and I would get a video that would do like 50 views and I'd be like whoa I got 50 views now it's like thousands that's so crazy it's so crazy I I don't know there's like I, I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't even know what to say for that all right somebody just got in the elevator so now I'm waiting for it now I figured now would be a time to tell you this like kind of funny story that I think is funny that happened okay look I'm gonna set the stage for you right here right next to this elevator is the toilet okay this is the bathroom door right there when Trent was here maybe like two days before he was getting ready to leave he walked out the door like this so he walked out the door and he stood here with his hand on the door just like this and he stood here with his hand on the door just like this closed a little bit like this and he was trying to be funny and make jokes but in that meantime he was trying to be funny and make jokes and look at me while he was doing it there was a huge monster sized cockroach coming straight from the top towards his hand and I had food in my mouth at the same time and I was like mm, 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 mm. it didn't touch him but almost now whatever that story may not be funny that story may not be anything but it did kill time while I was waiting for the elevator and it was hilarious in the moment. Okay, but the elevator is actually on the way now, so what else? Oh, I'm getting ready to leave, but I have to go back upstairs. This is why I'm waiting for the elevator. This was hanging on the back of my bike. I wore this yesterday when I played basketball. That's a funky smell right there. Like, I don't know if you ever played football, but if you played football, and then your pads had that weird like smell. It wasn't like it was, it was like a sport smell. Whatever that smell was, that's this right here. You, how much it's trustworthy here. I'm gonna leave my camera right here while I go upstairs. I'm just gonna leave my camera here. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it and I'm gonna leave it recording too. See what happens. I'll even leave my camera back too. So good, of course. Okay, what's going on? That swing is just swinging, and there's nobody over here. Why is that swing right there just swinging? There's literally nobody. Well, these people walking past me, but nobody's here. It's just swinging, it's still doing it. It's creepy, it's weird, it's real weird, can't lie. Got me a Red Bull, yeah. I know it's almost 10 o'clock right now, I'm gonna go ahead and drink this because I'm getting ready to go to this event Paris invited me to maybe do a little networking. I'll see what video, what footage I can get while I'm there, but just go on, maybe network a little bit, meet a couple people. I'm currently in Pong Pong right now. As you can see, there's the Emporium, there's the BTS station, or maybe you can't see it, but now you can. And there's also M-Sphere. How is there one, two, three, three malls but really it's like four or five but if we're just saying in this area what do you cup huh ripple my alcohol uh sip okay uh yeah that guy just ran <laughs> that guy just ran up on me i guess the park closes at 10 so he's making sure everybody's out He's on his mo. Okay, that's so funny. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's so many parks. I mean, there's so many parks. There's three malls. 
that are like within 500 feet of each other. How is that even possible? And you go in them and they're all packed. I just, I, I don't get it. And then walking around this park right now, you know what time it is. I am sweating and it's nighttime. It's like the coldest it'll be. That's so funny. He said no alcohol, but I promise you right there, there's like a group of dudes sitting there and I swear they have probably like 20 beers like scattered all around them, just drinking them all. Big cans too. Like this is a little baby can. They had big boy cans. But that's near the ear there. That's outside the park anyways. You? What's good, buddy? Uh, you know this high motherfucking city? Bangkok City? This is crazy. What are you doing down there? Where are you going? Damn. Fast. 